So today I'm working on a HP Omen computer. This came in with a broken, uh, it's actually a torn hard drive connection. This is where the hard drive connects to on the board. And customer was upgrading the hard drive and in the process of upgrading uh, the pad got tripped off. So uh, let's get to it and see actually a couple pads uh, are the, the ground pads are torn out and these are what hold it in place. We're going to see how we're going to fix this. This camera view. Show you better what's going on. So as you can see here, where I'm pointing my tweezers. Uh, this area, this is where the <clears throat> hard drive connection goes. And this got ripped uh, off the board. These are the traces missing. They're, uh, luckily, they're uh, a ground connection. But these are what mostly hold this piece in place. So I'm probably just going to put some thermal glue or gasket here just to hold it a little bit in place. Once we're done with the soldering, I believe that would be the way I'm going so let's get under the microscope and see what we can do with this right. so here is the hard drive connection And that's what we're going to be working with. First, let's add some flux. And let's move this out of the way. And of course, we're going to disconnect the battery. Extractor. Okay, we're going to add some low melt solder. That's good enough. Let's put this where it belongs to. Seems like this last pin here needs to be moved a little bit. Or maybe not. Yeah, do 
Christi. This sounds about right. Let's add some more flux. And at first, I'm going to start with this first and last pen. Let's move it, line it up. All right, and then we can finish up with the rest of them. Clean it up a bit. I'm going to go over these last three. I just don't like the way they are. Should do it. Right up a bit. From here, we're gonna go ahead and first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the hard drive, and then if all goes good, I'm just gonna put a Move this back down here, and we should be all set. So let's go ahead and test the hard drive. So there, I got a hard drive here. Plug up to the connection. And of course, we're going to hold it so we don't put pressure on this and possibly cause ripping it again. At this point, we could turn on the hub I and mean the computer, plug in the installation media. Close the battery and just 
turn it on. And this should boot uh, right into recovery media because this hard drive is not initialized. At least if the connection works. So let's see what it does. Might take a minute here. Just because we see most reset. All right. As you can see, it's booting from the recovery media. Let's go next. Install now. We're going to make sure it's detecting the hard drive. We could either do it this way or we could check it from the BIOS. But either way is fine. I usually like this way better. And here you go. I got that 500 gig hard drive, as you can see. And we could part repartition it, reinstall Windows on it. So it's reading the hard drive. Problem solved. All I need to do is just uh, hold back this connection back in place and put the computer back together. We should be all good to go. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.